It is my great honor and privilege to talk to you wonderful people today about courage. Courage was something that I really needed at one point in my life. And being a painter, I thought if I could create a piece that would encompass all the things that were so important to me in courage, that every day when I got up and when I was just feeling like I couldn't go on, that I would look at it and it would give me the strength and the insight to move forward. I work with the painting method that ancient Greek and Roman artists used called encaustic. It's from a Greek word, encaustikos. It means burned in. And some of the most amazing paintings that I've ever seen in my life were done by artists in the first and second century AD working along in the Nile. And they didn't have electricity and blow torches like I have the privilege of working with. And they created these stunning portraits of people. And when the people would die and they'd mummify the body, they put the portraits on the sarcophaguses. And they survive to this day, and you can see them in museums around the world. And to me, that is just such a tribute. And we don't know these artists, but they have given us such an amazing sense of what it was like to be present in the world so long ago. Now, my technique is obviously different. I start with handmade boards that are made of poplar wood and have a mahogany face. They're supported in the back with a brace because the wax is very strong. I cover the surface with melted beeswax and a combination of carnauba wax. And then I melt the wax through the linen so that it adheres to the board and then put layers and layers of carefully placed wax. And then I add pigment and fire and paint, and I set everything on fire and manipulate the surface until I come up with something I like enough to paint. And there's something wonderful about working with elements you cannot completely control. Because you come up with a surface that's different every single time, and a voice that's different, just like all of you in this room. So when I wanted to start the painting Courage, I was very careful with selecting a board that really spoke to me about some of the things that Courage really meant. And initially, it was all brown, and it was about earth, and it was about stone, and wood, and I got back and I looked at it and I thought, that's a great painting, but that's about strength. And courage is a lot more than just strength. Courage needs to be about vision, and courage is about hope. And so I tore into the brown and I painted these clouds. And if you notice, the clouds sort of go in a figure of eight, and that's a symbol of infinity. And the clouds are to remind us to hold on to our dreams and hold on to our visions. And there's little bits of blue. And the blue is for water and for hope. And so I got back and I looked at it and I thought, you know, that looks good. But courage, courage is alive. And I need something alive in this piece. So I painted a crocosmia. It's a perennial. And I love the idea of bulbs that are waiting in the earth all through winter until just the right time to bloom. And you'll notice that this plant, the crocosmia, is in all different life stages. There's buds that haven't opened, and there's blossoms that are dying. And that's to represent that we can be courageous at any point in our life. And the crocosmia blooms around the 4th of July, and we call them firecracker lilies. And I thought that that was a wonderful way to remember 
and honor all the people, the men and the women that have gone before us and through their courage give us the rights and the freedoms that we enjoy every day. Sometimes it's important to be courageous as a group, and sometimes it's about the courage of one. And there's a hummingbird here. And hummingbirds are the only bird that flies forward as well as backwards. And to me, that represents the power that courage has in the past and in the present and in the future. And though hummingbirds are beautiful to look at, they're also fighters. And in the middle of the board, like two hands, is a lotus. And a lotus, for me, represents awareness and compassion. Because without compassion for each other, without compassion for situations that we can't control, and sometimes, most importantly, without compassion for ourselves, we can never be truly courageous. Thank you.